talking a lot. The state will be recalling the previous witness, Lieutenant Colonel Rapadu. But a debate has arisen between the state and the defense mm. as to the injection or the transplanting of the evidence of this witness um, from the evidence that was given in the trial within the trial to the main trial. Um, we were trying to reach an agreement that the evidence that he gave in the trial within a trial, keeping in mind that the trial within the trial is a watertight compartment, that the evidence that he gave in the trial within a trial be transplanted or injected in the main trial, but we couldn't reach consensus on that point, and we just briefly want to um, address the court on that. Um, in the earlier decisions, um, and I'm referring to the case of State versus Sitebe, uh, the citation is 1992, Volume 2, SACR 346, and is the decision of the Appellate Division at page 351 from paragraphs C. Wait, 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 wait. Mr. Ngomizulu, have you listened to your colleague? Yes, ma'am. That's correct. So what is your decision? <coughs> My Lord, as it has been discussed that uh, the witness will proceed from where he ended on the evidence that has been redacted because the evidence that is <coughs> tendered during the trial within the trial uh, should be, this witness should continue by <coughs> uh, giving evidence or reading the statements that were <coughs> attached on a performer, which were redacted during the trial within the trial. Is that the agreement with the, the state? Yes, that's but what Mr. Balu is not saying that. Mr. Rab, Mr. Pidi, what, what did you agree with the state, if anything? Uh, if anything, my lord, we did not agree, but my position is that, my lord, since the trial within the trial was insulated, and now we are no longer dealing with admissibility, my take is that that evidence now uh, forms part of this evidence because he's continuing with the annexure. We go into the parts that were withheld for the purposes of the trial within the trial manner. That's my understanding subject to. Mr. Nisi? That is my understanding as well, Manor, which is the reason why there's a point where we want to take up the weakness on this evidence in the trial within the trial. There's nothing that was asked them to do. You want to take up something with the witness? Yes. In a trial within a trial? In the evidence that he provided in the trial within the trial, you can still go back to the evidence in the trial within the trial and take up him on this issue. Yeah, fine, fine. The reason why that evidence will basically form part of the main trial. Which evidence are you talking of? I'm talking about the evidence. The pro forma evidence? Yes. Yeah. Yes, Mr. Thank Mumalu. Thank you, Mr. The, the court has made a ruling. Hello? The court has made a ruling about the admissibility of the statement, so it is for the witness to continue from where he ended on the last occasion. Thank you. Yes, Ms. Mshololo. Thank you, my Lord. My Lord, also to, to add on that, it's that in the pro forma itself, my Lord, you'll recall that there were other paragraphs which were, were blocked. Yeah. And then now, they have to be revealed and read into the record. That's the procedure that we need to follow from now onwards, my lord. Okay. Thank Mr. you, my lord. What are you saying? <laughs> well, we are saying, my lord, that um, there has to be um, a, 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 some sort of a, an agreement that the evidence that was given in a trial within a trial of a specific witness 
be injected, be transplanted in the in, in the main trial, so that this witness doesn't have to repeat to repeat what he testified to. You must keep in mind, as Mr. Ramosipili mentioned, that trial within trial is watertight, is insulated. So basically, we're starting now on a clean slate, and it's crucial that, and this is what the authorities are saying, that, you know, um, there has to be, you know, that, that, that yeah, agreement. Just, just read those authorities, as you say. Yes. You say it's uh, yeah, well, we, yeah, starting with Citebe Malot, yeah. uh, 1992, Volume 1, SACR 346, the decision of the AD at... 351C to D. Um, this who, is what this who, was who the, the judges there? Yes. Um, the judge was uh, Van Yeren, Ninaber, and Nicholas, AJA. Initially, they laid down a very straight jacket approach. Mm. Uh, and in paragraph C to D, um, they held as follows In principle, unless the parties stipulate to that effect, and neither the defense of the accused nor of the state witness given during the trial within a trial ought therefore to be injected in the main trial. Um, so in other words, they say there has to be you know, uh, an agreement to the defense. So that's inclusive in the pro forma evidence? Uh, in, in, indeed, my lord. Yeah, because yes. that is, if you want to be fancy, it's res judicata. Yes. Okay. But, yes, but this approach was later watered down, my lord, in, um, in the mean, very same SCA in the matter of uh, state versus Nlenge Twa. Nlenge okay. Uh, it's... Which year was it? Nlenge uh, 1996, oh, okay. Volume 1. Yeah. We'll remember the city was earlier in, in 1992, so four years later. Yeah. In uh, the matter of state versus Nlenge Twa, 1996, 1. S A C R mm. at seven three seven. Yeah. And here the bench was um, appealed just small beggar Groskop and Arams. Mm. And they held as follows. Um, uh, I'm reading from the head note at the bottom of the page. In S.D. Freeze, 1989, Volume 1, S.A. 228, uh, Appellate uh, Division Decision, it was held that an accused evidence during the trial within a trial could not be held against him in determining his guilt. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. no, yeah. fine. Yeah. This does not mean, however, that those parts of the state's evidence relevant in respect of guilt and which had been presented before the, the full court cannot also be taken into account. We go, go on, if a trial is conducted by either a judge alone or a magistrate, um, it is nonsensical and a waste of cost, time and, en and energy to repeat evidence which was presented during the trial within a trial at the end of such trial within a trial. So in other words, my lord, they say it's not necessary to, um, to repeat the... Uh, Those are five judges. Three. 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 Uh, Arams also. Yes. That's, all, that's what the law says. Now, I'm surprised Mr. Nisi says there are issues which he wants to take up. Hmm with the kennel regarding his evidence in the pro forma when is that what you're saying sir well, basically the process is, here is and the court would remember that no no let's 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 is that what you're saying you want to cross examine re-cross examine this witness regarding the pro forma let's not complicate the law what i'm saying my lord yeah. is if there are aspects that this witness testified about. Where? Where? In the trial, within the trial, on the performer. Right. And I want to take him up on that. No, no. I am welcome to do that. No, no, you are not. Call me the authority. I can, 
again, quote me the authority. That's the procedure. Yes, quote me the authority. He's been quoting the authority. I don't know that procedure. Otherwise, that is going to be very irregular. No, no, I quote the authority. Am I not an authority now, but that's No, the no, I'll adjourn. How many days do you want? I'll adjourn. Quote the authority. Okay, no, it's fine. No, 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 no. I, I, you can't make a, a statement about the law, and when the judge say, says, quote the authority, you say, no, it's okay. Sir, Mr. Baloui, do you know the, of that authority? which says you can again cross-examine this witness concerning the pro forma, after having done so. Yes, yeah. Hello? Well, uh, there's that case of Kretscher um, by Judge Lamont, which says the court should ad adopt a somewhat flexible approach. Um, it will be up to the court to decide whether it allows such, um, such, such cross-examination. So it, that judgment was written by Lamont? Yes, in, in the Kretscher case. Do you have it here? Um, I, 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 I'll be able to look. I don't have it at hand. But Do you have any judgment besides the judgment of Lamont? You're no, sit, no, no. You're sitting alone. No, no. I, I don't have any, any other judgment, my lord. Do you have any judgment? No. no Either not. even if it's in Namibia no. or even in Zimbabwe, which says no. exactly what Mr. Mnisi is saying? No, no. I, I, I'm not aware of, uh, except for this one that I've quoted. Okay, let's see the other authorities. Yes, uh, continue from where we left off. There's that other matter of uh, State versus Bakani and others. Yeah, I'm aware of that. It's 2017, Volume 1, SACR 576. This matter went on appeal, and um, the SCA did set aside the judgment on the merits. However, some of the principles that were distilled remain in place. Mm. Um, for instance, in, on page 582, paragraph 20, uh, the court says the following, as it is usually happens in matters of this nature, the parties in Kasu agreed that the evidence led by the state in the trial within a trial will form part of the main trial to circumvent a situation where the witness would have to lead the same evidence. Yeah, that's, what, that's the law I know. And be subjected to cross-examination yeah. again. Yes, I, I, I think just underscores what... Yeah. what, what the, I've never heard of that. Never, ever. What, what Been the, in the criminal courts donkey years. Okay. Yes. Then um, the perhaps the the, uh, the 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 last case then is that one of uh, State versus Muchindu. Yeah, that's uh, a, that's that, a, yeah. where he says sometimes you can't differentiate between uh, the yes. evidence. Which just read it also. Yes. Because uh, Mr. Mumaro once read it. It's two thousand volume two S A C R three one three. Yeah. Uh, what, what, did, what, did, what does it say? Should um, stay. Yeah. Yes. Um, it says. <coughs> And I'm just reading the headline, um, the head note. It is not necessary for evidence which has already been led in the main trial to be led in a trial within a trial. If the parties wish to refer to such evidence and the court is in, entitled to um, rely on, 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 on such evidence. And then on page 317, at paragraph H, he says, accordingly, I rule that during the course of this trial within a trial, reference may be made to evidence already led in the main trial, and that the court is entitled to rely on, on such evidence as may be um, appropriate. Um, so, um, my lord, he, he's just saying that... The opposite. Yeah, he, he, yeah he, and that, that is permissible. He, where, he, he, for instance, the, the colonel says I was born in 1920. Yes. And, and then just, he can come in a trial within a trial, that evidence can be admissible. Yes. It's the other way around, because that is the, the merits being infused yes. into the evidence in the trial within a trial, where it is common so, cause. Yes. Okay. Uh, and then lastly, um, the author Himstra criminal procedure at 
2462. 2462. Yes, 2462. What's the in, in the heading repetition in the main trial of evidence given in a trial within a trial. He says, when there was a trial within a trial, those parts of the state evidence which are relevant to the main trial can be taken into account without being re repeated. Mm says it is an, an, a necessary waste of money to repeat that yeah, evidence fine. in the trial. Then he quotes the um, decisions of uh, Nlengetwa, mm. as well as uh, Muchindu. So and basically those decisions are saying that uh, what has transpired in a trial within a trial, meaning including the evidence which was led in the pro forma by the person who ultimately writes down the statement or the, the confession. Yes. And he, he or she has been cross-examined. So are you saying they're saying there is no procedure which says she must also be again be cross-examined on the evidence led within a trial within a trial concerning the pro forma? Yes, this, that is the effect of um, okay. you know, the, the yeah, that's judgment how I understand that, the law. that we refer to. Yeah. Yes. But it happens with that any, he doesn't have to be in a trial within a trial. It happens, as Mr. Gomezuru can tell you, it happens with any evidence. Once a witness has been cross-examined, you can't cross-examine him again unless you get a special dispensation from the court and unless there's a just cause which you present. Yes. Okay. okay and then just finally, the writer um, Ditoi and, and others commentary on the criminal procedure <coughs> at 2466H yeah. uh, poses the question, if an accused evidence during the trial within a trial cannot be held against him in determining his guilt, that yeah. is now in the, trial within a tr in the main trial, does this mean that those parts of the state's evidence relevant to uh, his guilt can also not be taken into account? Then the writers say no, said the court in S versus Nlengetwa, provided such evidence has been presented before the full court, uh, including the assessors where they are sitting with the judge. Uh, it would be nonsensical and a waste of cost, time and energy, said the Arams J.A., to repeat evidence which was presented during the trial within a trial at the end of that procedure. Mm. Um, he recognized that such a step might be a deviation from existing practice. Um, and he also refers to the case of State versus Bakani and others, mm. um, where the majority referred to Nlengetwa's case in holding evidence adduced by the state at the trial within a trial to be admissible at the main trial um, for the purpose of uh, confirming the uh, confession. So in, in, in short, my lord, uh, our contention is that the um, evidence yeah. of uh, the witness who have been recalled, because basically this witness is yeah. being recalled, he's already testified it, yeah. um, that, and I think that is the um, effect of the the law. The submission by Mr. Ramsepili and Mr. Ngomezulu that yes. they continue from where they left off. Yeah, but that's just, what the law says. Yeah, but just to avoid um, any 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 uh, uncertainty in this regard, um, we submit that um, the evidence of this witness on all those witnesses who have been recalled or to formally be injected uh, or transplanted transplanted in the main trial. <coughs> Okay. Any response from any person? Any counsel? Mr. Gomez, do you stand by what you said? No response, Mr. Ramosepi? Uh, uh, as the court pleases, my lord, my lord uh, I hear the authorities and I cannot off the top of my head because the one that I had was the culture one. Which one? Got it here. Which one? I, the culture met. But my concern, uh, and, and I, I concur with Mr. Muniz, is this. There were certain parts in the pro forma that were redacted that the witness that's been recalled was never uh, cross-examined. They never testified on. on them. 
So, so we leave them as yes. they, then I'm, I'm indebted to Even the court. Even this court, you, yes. you, you all yes. refused for this court against the law. You refused that I should know what is redacted. You remember? Yes. <laughs> no, no, I'm indebted. You indicted, remember that? No, you refused. Then, then, and I said, okay, yes. having quoted case 1952, <laughs> quoted an SAA case yes. of 1952, which says, I can and I should. But I just abided with what you were saying. No, now, we, those redacted parts, he was never permitted to read them. Yes. And they were never read. Yes. So he's not going to read them. Okay, no, I mean, that's it to the court. Yeah. Okay, let's, let's start. Can you swear the witness in again? <coughs> Your full names and surnames? Uh, Moali Solomon Rapa. Do you have any objection to the witness at all? No. If so, do you swear that the evidence you shall present in this court will be the truth, the whole truth, nothing else but the truth? If you do, please raise your right hand and say, so help me God. So help me God. Witness so in my Lord. Sorry, the interpretation, do you want it to be interpreted line by line, or do you prefer the witness to first read everything, and thereafter it should be interpreted? I'm asking. Uh, my Lord, so sorry, Mr. Mgodi. Uh, uh, I, I see the two pager, uh, my lord. So if you can read the whole content, then, then it's okay. Fine. All right. Okay. Go on, Mr. Baloui. <coughs> As the court pleases, my lord, uh, just for the convenience of the court, we've made, we've again made copies of Exhibit HH, which is not redacted. Um, uh, I've also given my colleagues the copy that is not redacted. Yeah, me is the first time I say this document. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> there was one paragraph, my lord, that was redacted and that was not put in record, but the court has ruled that that part cannot be put on record. No, no, just repeat what you're saying. Uh, there it was, was redacted. Yes, there was one paragraph um, that was uh, excised from the previous exhibit that yeah. was handed up. That paragraph has not been put on record. Um, that it was redacted? Yes. In other words, this witness did not testify, about testify it. on it. Yes. Yeah, put it on record so that this yes. case but goes anywhere yes. else. Because now that the statement has been ruled admissible, we submit that that portion need to be uh, put on record. Okay. Um, yeah. I think my colleague is just trying to use that. The court has just ruled that any redacted part yeah, that's what that will be read into the record earlier on in the trial, in the trial, it cannot be read into the record now. That was the earlier ruling of the court. You're talking about the statement of the performer, sir? The performer, my lord. You're talking about the performer. Yes, I'm talking you see, about. You're talking at cross purposes. Yes, sir. Mr. Nisi is talking about the actual statement. Is that no, you? I'm talking about the performer. Oh yeah, no. Yes. What he never read can be read. Exactly. Yes. What he never read. You can put <coughs> on record that if he read it, but he has never read it. Yes. No. We, we, as I mentioned, we um, did remove that part. You removed it until the admissibility, and the reason why we removed it was that we waited for the admissibility of the statement to be determined. And now that the admissibility has been determined, our submission is that that part now ought to be put in record, because now the, that would mean the court would never know um, exactly what stood in the, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the preamble if certain portions are not put in record. That is Did our you submission. Agree? Did you agree, all of you? Well, yes. My Lord, uh, I, I, I would like to agree with the state in that regard, my Lord, because when you're talking about the evidence of this witness and those paragraphs that were blocked, so it means, my Lord, they will not form part of the evidence if they are not revealed and read into the record now, my Lord. <laughs> Mr. Ngumaro, do you agree with my colleague? Yes, I, I do agree. Mr. Nisi is differing. Are you agreeing? No, I'm not differing, my Lord. That was actually my initial uh, argument. Okay. Mr. Rapelet? That was my initial argument. I was a little bit, uh, I was a 
because uh, when the court said that uh, the information that is redacted that is in the audio form should not be read yeah. out now, then I, I, that's the reason why I said the state cannot make that application because the court is already good on it. But the procedure but you is see that's, yeah, everything I, must then be read. I hear record. you. You see, yes. I wasn't there when you agreed. <coughs> no, there was no agreement. He says there was an agreement. Yeah. Mr. Was there an agreement? It is about excluding certain portions. So then they will be excluded? Yes, and until, after? until the decision on admissibility. <coughs> but now that admissibility has been determined, then we go back to those parts that were. Is that the agreement you had with your colleagues? Yeah. Hello? Well, that was the import of the discussions. You know, I, I don't want to put it higher than. You know, that, that was a discussion, but if my learned friends are um, in, at idiom with that approach, we can just simply go ahead and, and, and put those portions on record. My Lord, can I make just one submission? Uh, my Lord. Yeah. My Lord, for the sake of progress, my Lord, I, I'm just uh, appealing with the court that we just let the witness to go through with this document, my lord, the way the state is intending to do in this document. Are you all agreed on that, all of you? Are you all agreed on that? You said you're acting as a team. Are you all agreeing with Mr. Mshololo when he says that should happen? I, I agree with Mr. Mshololo. Thank you. Mr. Adam, I do agree, my lord. Thank you. You agree? Yes. Can we see you agree also now? Yes. Uh, my lord, it's not a question of me simply agreeing. That simply means those parts which were redacted that this witness was not cross examined on, we should be given an opportunity to quiz them in an event that we have questions on them. Okay. Yes. You can proceed, Mr. As the court pleases us, I don't know if my learned friends want to say something, but um, Colonel, Lieutenant Colonel Mboto, you've already given um, evidence regarding Exhibit HH. Is that Mboto? No. Oh, I'm sorry, Colonel uh, Rapad. <laughs> Yeah, it's already being sewn in yes. again. Yes. Lieutenant Colonel uh, Rapadu, you have already given evidence regarding Exhibit HH. I just want to refer you to paragraph 15.1, which was redacted. It appears on page 4 of Exhibit HH. <coughs> 15.1. If you can just put that on record, paragraph 15.1. Are you, are you still prepared to make a statement? I would like to know your source of information regarding the, the proposed statement you wish to make. And then the accused respond was, I was involved in the crime scene. Manjaige Usuge. Wapana <laughs> Thank you. If you can then turn to page five of exhibit HH. Paragraph 17, you've already put the contents of paragraph 17.1, 17.2. Um, if you can just perhaps read once again 17 just to give context.
for the record, paragraph 17, then, um, then proceed to 17.3. Since it appears that the deponent is in his sound, sober senses, he had not been unduly influenced there to understand his rights as prescribed by section 35 of the final constitution and freely and voluntarily wishes to make a statement, he is informed that he or she may be may now proceed. Mm -hmm. Yena Gemanje Agazanya Apokwe, Futu Uyazu Sisa, Amalunga Loake Uguyangom Teto Sisegelo, Oalapa M Zanz Africa, Yena Uzi Misele, Mokwake, Uguti Angayenza is statement Leso, Futi Uyatabiswa, Goguti Uzoyenza Galani Uma E Kube. Yes, you can then proceed to the annexure itself. And maybe just before you put the contents of the annexure, can you just maybe give a background? How did you go about taking down um, what is stated in the annexure? Uh, <clears throat> my Lord, I made sure that uh, the accused person understands. <clears throat> the first thing that uh, I have explained him is it was his right, just as a matter of remembrance. I made sure that uh, uh, he's of sober mind. And uh, the statement was made voluntarily. Without any undue uh, circumstances. circumstances. Yes, we'll proceed. It's then that uh, I started sitting down with him, going into the statement itself. Yes. Can I read the contents there? Yes. Which I took. Um, you first explained me the statement, and then later on, I went on to say, now I'm writing paragraph by paragraph. I mean, uh, sentence by sentence. Then we, we started. I, Bongani Sandy Suntanzi, 30 years of age, 3125 Freedom Park, 2. Rastenberg states the following in Zulu and translated into English. That. Yeah, just a minute now. Those details that you mentioned there, uh, the name, the age, the address, where does that come from? Where did no, you, no, 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 no. Uh, as a court please. No, 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 no. The procedure is this witness must read yes. what he wrote down. It doesn't yes. have to be cross-examined. 
asked. Uh, it was just a clarification, yeah. Manu, no, that, but no, that is fine. I, that's not what the law says. We, we, we leave it at that, yes. Yes, just, just read it as it is. During mid-October 2014, I received a call from a friend, Mtoko Sizen, who was with my pizza. He informed me about an agent work that needs to be done and they need my assistance. Just a minute. Uh, Mr. Ramsey had said the witness should read the whole statement, then I will interpret that. Okay, thank you. Okay. Yes. He informed me. Okay, I think I'm done with that. Yes. Carlos was nearby as I could hear his voice in the background. I promised to assist and I decided to leave for Johannesburg. I then left for Fosloras Men's Hostel. I then met with Muzi Sibia, Sifiso Zungu, also known as Nkani, who initially gave the inside information the inside information. Later, Carlos Butelezi and Mapisa joined the gathering at the hostel. I was briefed that the person to be eliminated or killed was Senzo Meiwa, and the matter is initiated by Kelly Kumar, who was going to make a payment for the whole job. We were positioned accordingly that Nkani will be the driver, Moses Sevilla will be the guard, and myself and Carlos will get inside Kelly's house. Mapisa will be outside as a backup, and surveillance was, was conducted. Sunday at about between 1900 and 2000 hours, we then proceeded to the address. I went in with Carlos and others took their positions as discussed during the planning. When we entered the house, Carlos shouted in Zulu, Pans, Imali, Ne, my cell phone. I started collecting cell phones and cash that was in the container. While I was still busy, Senzo jumped to Carlos and the struggle ensued where one shot went off and the second shot hit Senzo as the firearm was pointed at his chest. I ran out with the money and the cell phone leaving Carlos behind. While my pizza ran into the house, I then proceeded directly to the silver polo was parked. I waited in the car with Nkani. Within a short period of time, I was joined by Carlos, Musi Sibia, and my pizza. We then left for Fosloras Hostel. Carlos took the cash and the cell phone from me at the hostel. At the hostel, I received an amount of 15,000 cash. I then left with Nkani to Johannesburg, where I slept over. The following day, Nkani took me to Davidton, where I stayed from some days. Some days. Nkani later returned and took out an amount of 30,000 and gave me. He further directed me to the Texas to my residence. As there was a dissatisfaction about the money, it led to a meeting to be held in the homelands at Ematlati. It escalated to such an extent that Musi Sibia had leaked information about the incident, murder of Senzo Mehiwa. Njabulo and Lulam had an argument with Musi Sibia, whereby 
a meeting was convened by the family headed by Musi's father. He told them to keep quiet about the incident of the killing of Saint Omeyu. The family agreed about the conspiracy to keep quiet, quiet about the incident. The matter was never reported to the police. I then left for Caltonville later to rest him back. Bongani Sandi so Ntanzi, Begatene Minyaga E Lamashuma Matat, Etala E three one two five, Freedom Hack two, Rustenbeck, Yena Uye Washo, Lesson to Esland the Lion, the Sizulu, Eza Palwa, Zato Ligelwa, and Gis, We Silu. Hagat Benyanga, the October, good twenty fourteen, Yenga Tola Utengo, whom Ganwami, umtogo ziseni, obegate eno mapisa. Wangu kibisa uguti kuno msebenzi osheshayo, otinga uguti wenziwe, utingega umneto luangu. Ukarlos, bega kona etuze, njemo babengate nguazu guzwa ipimbo lake emuva ekuluma. Ngienga tembi isa uguti ingizofu. Ugo ugu naeta, nga tata isumomoso uguti ingizuge ingiye e Johannesburg. Nga, nga figa e Fosloras, e hosteli ya matota, ma gula nyenga shangana no muzi sibia, sifiso zungu, o wazu wafuti ngeka maliga mkani. Eba ye, Siyesa tanga na esangweni Bangnega uluazi Ukarlos kutelezi No mapisa baye bafiga Baba nati e hoste Ngienga chelwa Ukutu umuntu obegate Gwa mele asuswe Gwa kate huu senzo meiwa Leo ndaba indaba eguti ize Izengo keli kumano. Obegate eyo kokela. Eyo kokela ngalo msebe nzi wongi. Siye sashala ngenze la eguti. Siye sashala ngenze la eguti umkani. Waegate ezo ba umshayeli. Umuzi sibia uzo ba unokata. Mina no Carlos Tizongena Enzini Yaga Kelly Uma Pisa Uzo Banga Pande Njemo Munto Ozabe Esi Siza Noma Ezabe Gu Epet E Seven Zum Seven Spectre Zwe Pek Up Futi Uzo Ba No Munto Ozabe E Pegi Leandao Leana Gesonto Ngabo Seven Ntambama no manga wo pagatu wo seven no eight ndambama itemas saya bulelo keli ebeskate sinewe dona mina no Carlos na banye siyesa sala gui nda wo les bekate si kile uguti suzo ba uzo jemo ba saskate si kulmi siyesa nge na enzi ni u Carlos wa shonge si zulu. Wat panzi imali na maselfu mina ngienga kota ama selfu ne mali ebezgate zipagati we container itema kusa kuche kwa ganjalo usenzo watu mela ukarlos balwa la ibuti kuye kwa wano kutubula Intlambu yespini ya tubula usenzo. Njengo ba ispa musaskate si konjwe guye. Njengo ba ispa musaskate si konbe guye esfubeni. Ngienda kichimela nga pande ne mali na maselfoni. Ngashi ya ukarlos emuva. Umapisa wa kichimela enjini. 
mena ke ngienga kitimela kwi moto ipolo e silver labe ibegate ipakwe khona ngalinda emotweni nonkani layi kuthi ngemva kwesikhashanyana siye sa umaphisa u Carlos no muzi no maphisa bayebeza bazoba nathi sa hamba ke saya e Fos Loras e Hostel u Carlos wathatha imali na ma cell phone gimi e Hostel ngiye ngathola imali elingana no 15000 rand bese nga hamba nonkani siya e Johannesburg la ngiye ngalala khona Wilanga elandelelayo unkani uye wangthatha wangisa e Davidton langi yengahlala khona amalangana unkani ngemva kwalokho wangthatha wangnika unkani wabuya wanginika imali elingana no 30000 beseke wangthatha wangisa ema taxini walabe ngathi ngihlala khona Jengoba bekate ngike nelisekanga ngemali kuye kwa yenzeka ukuthi kugcine kube nomhlangano emakhaya emahlathini kuye kwenzeka ukuthi umuzi sibiya uye wakhipha ulwazi ngaloku bulawa kukasenzo meiwa unjabulo nolulama izibulama onule unjabulo nolulama baye baba nengcabano nomuzi sibiya la ikuthi kwakade kunomhlangano womndeni wakhe obogade uhanjiswa ubaba kamuzi sibiya yena ke kula uye wabatshela ukuthi bathule ngaloku bulawa kukasenzo meiwa umndeni wavuma ukuthi bazogcina leyo mfihlo lelicala alizange lazisiwe emaphoyiseni mina ke ngiye ngahamba ngaya e Carltonville ngemva kwalokho ngaya e Rustenburg as the court business thank you my lord i have just interpreted the statement nizwile madoda lento lenibele ngifu the accused shakes head nods their heads to show that they have understood okay No, Lieutenant Colonel, there are some signatures at the bottom and thumbprint. Can you just explain that? Yes, the, sign the signatures belongs to me and the accused person. The thumbprint belongs to the accused person too. Kuna la ku sign we khona la phansi ngemva kwale statement ake uchaza ukuthi ubani osayinile futhi nesithupha esikabani uthi signature enye yeyami enye eyakamsolwa futhi isithupha esabe kwalapho kwakade kwesaka msolo Yes and on the previous page page 6 there appears signatures as well and a thumbprint can you just explain them The signatures belongs to me and uh, the accused person's thumbprint Nakuile page le eyokuqala la kufundwe khona statement u page 6 kunala kusayinwe khona nesithupha ezakabani uthi imina ongisayinile nomsola wasayina wabeka nesithupha sakhe Can you just explain which which one is your signature and which one it's that of the deponent My one is on the far right at the end of the page and he is, is is the one on the left next to the thumbprint manje ke ukuthi wa achaze ukuthi yena usayine iphi ubonise ukuthi yena usayine la ngaku esanda sokudla umsolwa yena usayine ngaku esanda sosincele eduze kwesithupha sakhe if we can then turn to page 5 paragraph 18.1 you've already put that on record but just for the sake of clarity of the record can you just once again um
Happy date on record. No doubt whether he, he also reads through the statement. The comment was yes. Lapoje kuya wapalwa la pagu page five uguti bala panzu uguti uye wafunda is statement na gutiwa yebo impendulo yakona gube uye. Yes, the statement was read back to him. And, and because he he got an ele elementary education that he can read and understand the English. Later, I gave him the statement to him, and he read through, and he's, he started, I said to him, he must sign if you agree with the contents thereof. Yes. Just read paragraph 18.2, just put that on record. <coughs> and, and the rest of the paragraphs. Has the statement been read back to the deponent by you and the interpreter? Yes. I was, I was standing in as an interpreter. The statement is, yes, I found the law, um, so Yes, paragraph 19. The following questions are now put to the deponent. Are you satisfied that which you stated has been noted down correctly? The response was yes and then. Do you have any complaints as to the manner in which I took down this statement? No. Unescalazo, Galenzela, Emin and Gitatel statement in Gaso. Are you satisfied with the interpreter? Yes. Place was Morocco, 2020 06 19 11 47. The statement sends away Nyanga Yaga June Gay nineteen is Kati Kwakatebu eleven forty seven. He put his signature there and his thumbprint, and then I put my, my signature on the other side. They say, Gay Um Solwa Uya Saina La Payana, Wabega Nestupa, Bese Ukenel Naye Wa Saina. Thumbprint underneath is his. Nanga Pansi, Buna Nai, Bege is to her forty, forty a sake. God, please, my lord, will request that the annexure be handed up as an exhibit, as part of part of exhibit HH. We can mark it exhibit HH in brackets one. One. Yeah, but the candle is not yet through reading. Yes, uh, we, we, we'll get to um, the, the other aspects, my lord. Um, if we can just turn to page six. Can just maybe put that on record as well. 
observation of the justice of the peace with regard to the deponent. Clothing, clean blue jeans and Impala Platinum Lamba. Appearance, calm and responsive. Attitude, good and at ease. Spontaneous? No, I, there was no response. I didn't write anything there. Manjege, we are Bewa, Uguti, U Nemba Uguti, a Noma, U Kenet, Uma Epega, Uguti, Wagate Uz Unjani, Unta Untans, Wagate Enjani, in Basha Zaike. Zas got the Z Nanolanga, why got the echo gay, a gin, a blue, ne, ne lamba, ye impala latina, why got the ebonagala, umuntu, onga tuganga, footy, a begate, a pendula, imibuzo, mabukuna, ye, footy, what got the umuntu, ozi patekase, enga tugang. And have you explained the signatures? Uh, this, the signature of the Justice of the Peace is my signature and my full names. Here underneath the signature and the thumbprint on the far left is his and on the right is my signature. We were signing a Nanjem woman to us, Mele Onga Penny, Gunel Dana Pet, and the good justice of the peace, Wapala Futi Neka Malake, Namaka Mawaki, and the Spongo, Yabonagala Futi Noguti, Undan, the Usaini, the Wafar, and the Stupa Saki, Bessie Futi, we are signing a Futi Ukene. Thank you. You've already um, put your evidence on record regarding the Preamble, Exhibit HH, we're not going to repeat that. Um, do you confirm the correctness of the um, of Exhibit HH1? Correct, my lord. Manje, Ogni, Nibese, so when Zile, Nege, Sasatu, Kinde, when we have Vumuguti, Les Statement, Les C, Kuniso, Uti, Yebo, we have Vuma. We've already put on record the proficiency in the uh, languages that were used. Uh, Malot, we beg leave to, as indicated, to hand it the annexure as exhibit eight, HH in brackets one. You said HH? Yeah, HH in brackets one. Oh, the, in the H annexure. H in brackets one. Yes, the, the annexure, the statement itself. Yeah, okay, I hear you. And in, with the permission of the court, if I can just ask two questions out, out, outside the um, statement itself. On page six, your observation that the clothing is clean. It was put to the witnesses that the accused had not had a bath from the 16th of June 2020. What is your comment? No, I will disagree with that. When I on the day in question, uh, the accused was brought to me. He, he was so clean that uh, he was shining. So I didn't want to just write an exception, but uh, he looked like somebody who was working from somewhere. He was clean, my lord. Kenel Obale Uguti. Uma umbega umsolwa ubone uguti waigate elungi le ne imbasa zake zasgate zina nonanga kuto abofaga zbache lwe uguti imbasa zgam solwa zasgate zino lile uti ka imbasa zake zasgate zina nonanga zasgate ziboni sa jengo mundo o sebenza enda wenye tiz. And it was also disputed that the that accused number two was given food. What is your comment? Yes, I agree with that. He was given food during the process. Uh, it was early in the beginning, about maybe 8 o'clock in that morning. It was a meal for the prisoners. <coughs> so 
they knocked and then I went and fetched food for him and then I gave him. I let him go through the food and then when he was finished then that uh, we process, we continue with uh, the statement. We what did the meal consist of? It was a buttered bread, buttered brown bread, and a tea. What was the quantity of the bread? It was four slices. Thank you, my lord. That is all. Yes, Mr. Balu, is that the end of the evidence by... Indeed, my lord. Mr. Mnisi, you said there were things you wanted to take up. Which things are those? Yes. Hello? I'm, I'm saying yes. Yeah, what things are those? There's no procedure that one when he wants to cross-examine. Okay, cross-examine. Okay, cross-examine. Fine. Mr. Uh, Mbubezudu, do you want to cross-examine? <laughs> My Lord, this is the witness for Akas number two. Oh, yeah, by the I way. Think Mr. Ron you are on the Yes. Okay. Mr. Rapi, any uh, cross-examination? I, I wanted to say, My Lord, that it should actually start with Mr. Ramis. Okay, let's hear Mr. Ramosepe. Uh, uh, as it persists, the question, my, lord, mm. my lord, I would have thought by now my lord knows my surname very well. It's an easy to pronounce surname. <laughs> yeah, it's more difficult than Mokotling. Uh, as the court persists, my lord, my lord, I do have some questions for Colonel Rapadu. Mm. And I want to begin at the tail end. Uh, and also, I notice my note, we are closer to tea time, but I'll, 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 I'll leave exactly at tea time. Uh, Colonel, you've just testified now <coughs> that accused number two, at the time he was brought to you, was fed, was given food. Is that your testimony? Correct. <laughs> Now, with my little understanding of police procedures, in order for the accused person to be fed, he must first be entered in the occurrence books of, those, of that police station. Is, is that not correct? So that they know that he's there. It was known that he's with me. Okay. That is why the food was, and all the relevant uh, entries supposed to be have been made. Uh, uh, Colonel, very well said indeed, because I was coming to that. We were finished with a variety of occurrence books where accused two was held uh, throughout his detention uh, at various police stations. Uh, but we don't have the Morocco uh, OB entry where it shows that accused number two was brought to you on the 19th of June 2020 <coughs> at a specific time and where he's entered into that book to show that you received him, you obtained a statement from him, and at a certain time then, you handed him back to Jonathan, who brought him back to you. Uh, that I do not know. I cannot tell whether the, the, the entries were made or not made. I'm, I'm telling you as a fact. We, we've never received that. I'm not, I'm not denying that it was made or not made, but. As I'm standing here today, I've never had a sight of 
that occurrence book? I suggest relevant people have came to this court who are supposed to give you that evidence. I cannot, my lord. <coughs> now, towards the tail end as well, you were speaking or testifying about uh, whether or not the statement was read back to accused number two, and you said that it was read back to him. Is that your testimony? Correct. Uma also young as a tenant, we are at the statement in a CS of the law, um, so always been in Guinness or Leno or Tiawa in Guinness. And then you mentioned uh, something like he's got an elementary education, if I caught you well. Can you explain that for me? Uh, elementary education is, is the education. Uh, where you can read and write. It's not the education where it becomes, you become a, somebody certificated in yeah. line of a, maybe metric. He might not have the metric certificate, but he can read and write. In the case did you ask us ask, ask as choose number two up to which standard or grade of schooling did he go yes i did ask and what did he answer? What was his answer? It was, I can't remember, it was a grade below the metric. And you also stated that you gave the statement to accused number two and he personally as well read it himself. Did I understand you correctly to say that? It was after I interpreted it to him and then I gave him to make sure that uh, because I've seen, I've spoken to the guy that he, he got that education but he can read and write. I gave him further the statement. We statement now, accused number two has testified in this court that he is not the author or the source of the information contained in this statement, the annexure. And he testified further that if he wanted to write a confessional statement, he was going to write it in his own writing in Isizul, because he understands Isizul very well and he can write in Isizul. I will disagree with that. He is definitely the author of this. <laughs> Uh, my lot is 11.18. Is it an opportune time to okay. take yes. the short agenda? 15 minutes.
Mr. Pili? Yes, the court business man. Uh, my lord, the accused persons are not before court. The key will not unlock the cell, um, and they're struggling to open the, the cell door. Okay. What? The, the, the key to the cell won't open the cell door for some reason. Um, <coughs> I, I think it might be needing some Q20 or some oil. They're still trying to to open the cell door.
May please the court, my lord. Uh, I'm indebted. Now, Colonel, we were at that part where you now interpret the statement to accused number two. You've uh, read it back to him, you give it to him, he reads it, then he signs it. Is that your testimony? That's correct. <laughs> Now, just the one as uh, this other aspect, not the last one. This one aspect, where you say your observation of the accused person, accused number two, that was brought before you, he was clean, he was shining, he looked like he was working somewhere. Accused number two has testified in this court that. Since the arrest on 16 June 2020, he had never taken bath because his family didn't know where he was. He was only brought toiletries and given money to buy further toiletries by a Mr. Jack Butelezi on the 13th of July 2020. I will disagree with that. He was so jubilant and happy. I do not know what was happening with him. I, I'm talking about clothing. I'm not talking about demeanor. It's fine. The clothing was good. Now, your testimony is that as you are with accused number two in the room allocated for you to obtain the statement, you hear a knock and somebody brings food. At what stage during that statement taking did you hear that knock? Where had you already started with the performer, the main statement, or was this still during uh, whatever you were doing with accused number two? It was still in the beginning. And then you then take a break for 
accused number two to have his meal. That's your evidence. How long a break did you take? It was almost like uh, 30 to 40 minutes. You were Tata Kefu, Ubuti, Unsolo, Svini, Arde, Tata Kefu, and Nagana, Nuti, the Wumi Mizuzu, Sambe, Maya, Wave 80, Norma, Wimizuzu, A40. Now, this aspect of a break to, for accused number two to be fed of 30, 40 minutes, uh, the knock at the door for accused number two to be brought food. Why did you not mention it in your initial testimony in this court? I didn't see the relevancy of it. And did you record anywhere that do, at some stage during your interaction with accused number two, uh, you were interrupted by somebody bringing a meal, you were interrupted by accused number two having a meal? No, if you can see the time I took the, to take the statement, you are able to see that there was something that might have happened in between. I, I was not present there, Ken. Uh, that will be my question, my lord. Yes, Mr. Thank you, my daughter. I have no questions. Thank you. Yes, no questions, my lord. Okay. Any re examination? Yeah, me just for. For my edification, because there is hope. After the statements of confession is ruled to be admissible, the state still has to prove that uh, this statement was actually indeed made by the person who is supposed to have made it. Are you with me, Captain? Correct, man. Co yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, just a few questions in observing that precept. Do you know anybody called Mtoko Zil? Mtoko the same. Mutoko the same. I do not know him. Mapisa? I do not know him, my lot. Sfiso Zungu? I do not know him. Carlos Butelezi? I do not know him. Okay. Nkani, peasant called Nkani, do you know him? No, my lord. Nkani, and our Yamaz Utika and Mars. Njabulo? No, my lord. Unjabulo Yamazi Utitama. Lulama? No, my lord. Ululama Yeno Yamazi Utitama and Mazi Osekando. Right. Before you took this statement from 
Mr. Dansky. Did you know him? I didn't know him a lot. And then, did you know where he worked? No. And where he stayed? It's 3125 Freedom Park, Phase 2, Rustenburg. No, it's the information that I got from him. I do not know. Nalenda wona abeka de hlala khona e 3125 phase 2 Hmm. And his identification number? ID number. This is the one that you gave me his ID number. Hello. No. Okay, thank you. Any questions arising? No, no questions. Sorry. <coughs> Any questions? No, she's not. Sorry, madam. It's only one question. Mm arising from the court's question. Uh, <clears throat> Kenan, during the taking of the statement from accused number two, were there any, before you, you wrote what you say accused number two told you, was there any stage where you asked for clarity before you, you write the statement? If something was not clear from what you were saying, did you at some stage ask for clarity? No, because the first, at the first line when he explained me, I didn't write. I wrote when I started to say, now I'm writing down everything that uh, you are going to say. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Thank you, Thank you. Yes, sir. So God pleases. My Lord, the state will request that the next witness, Colonel M. M. Mboto, be recalled. <coughs> the witness is going to testify in respect of Exhibit FF. FF. <coughs> FF. I've given my colleagues copies of Exhibit FF, which I also give to the court. We're sitting with the original of Exhibit H, H of the previous witness. Um, I, I think we'll just make a bundle of all the originals yeah. for, for the court. Yeah, please. Yeah. Yeah, so the witness Your full name and surname? Moses Mboto. Do you have any objection in taking the prescribed oath? No, my lord. If you so, do you then swear that the evidence that you are about to give will be the truth, the whole truth, nothing else but the truth? <coughs> if you do swear, please raise your right hand and say, so help me God. Help me God. Witness, son, in my lord. 
Colonel Boto, you've already testified in the trial within a trial. Yes, I Regarding Exhibit uh, FF. Now, the, the court has ruled that the um, that the evidence regarding FF is uh, admissible. If I can then ask you to go to paragraph 13 of uh, Exhibit FF. So, I have to say that I have to say that I have to some background, you've already testified, but just put that on record to, to contextualize your, your evidence. As the court pleases, paragraph 18, since it appears that the dependent is in his sound sober senses, has not been unduly influenced there to understand his rights as prescribed by section 35, of the Constitution freely and voluntarily wishes to make a statement, he is informed that he may now proceed. Andrege, now paragraph 13, 18, Jehovah, Kubonagala, Ubutu, Umun, to law, Ozoyenza, less statement, Yena, Ukulule, Kile, Manjege, Yena, Osegaya, Tediso, and Amanungelo, I told you, among Petros, Segelo. We are the statement. Yes. You can then go straight to the annexure and put the contents on record. As the court pleases. On 2014, between September and October, it was Sabata bracket which is salary. My friend Marco Utelizu and Makimba Utelizu entered the house and demanded cell phone and they shot the now deceased. On that week in that year, during the week, it was on Wednesday, I was at my place at Worcester in Fosturas at Vasutu section and I received the call from my friends Marco Uchelezi and Makimba Uchelis. Both were staying at Fosturas Hostel but Zulu section. The person who was calling me was Marco but I heard on the background that he was with Makimba. I told them that I am present and he said he is coming with Makimba. Paragraph 2. Few minutes, they arrived by Polo, white in color, and it was driving by Makimba. But the owner of the Polo is Marco. Both, they are from Kwanongoma in KZN. I just entered the car and sit at the back seat. Marco said, Marco said to me, there is a job we need to do. I asked them what job, and Marco said, they were hired by Kelly to kill Senzo. And I asked the suspect, which Kelly and which Senzo? The suspect said, Kelly Kumalo and Senzo Mihiwa. They are the people we are talking about. Paragraph 3. I asked them if they already charged the money, and they said yes. They charged 100,000. Both Marco and Makimba charged for the killing. Marco was the one who was having dreadlocks, and Makimba was wearing the cap red in, red in color and as I was wearing the white cap. Those caps were wearing on Saturday and the one 
with dreadlocks was wearing the hoodie, the wool hat. The accused remind me that in order not to mix the days in brackets. Sometimes we drove, same time, we drove to the traditional hila, Nkulu, as we used to call him. And he is from Swaziland. This is the traditional hila we use to go to before we commit a crime. He is from Swaziland. Paragraph 5. The Inyana stays at Kakle home at Palm Ridge and we enter there, three of us. Marco is the one who explained to the traditional Leila, Kulu, in brackets, that we want to check if we are going to succeed in doing this job. He further mentioned to Mkulu that we are going to kill Senzo Mihiwa and we were bought or hired by Kili Kumalo, who was the girlfriend to Senzo Mihiwa. Mako told us that Kelly won money from Senzo, but he never told Mkulu that. Mkulu, traditional healer, checked for us and said we are going to succeed to kill the said person. And he also gave us protection medicine and belts to put on the arms or at our waist, which was going to make us to succeed in killing him and, the, and, and to protect us from any danger. We paid Mkulu 50 rand for checking our job. When we, uh, we, when we finished the job, we decided that we must pay him 5,000. We must pay him Mkulu. 5,000 and we left and we left to the hostel and they left me there to their places of residence. I sat at my place and we never spoke till Saturday in bracket Sabata. When I received the call from Marco, where he told me that we are going afternoon to the work which we are planning to do. They never told me the time, but they arrived at about 18 hours, and they took me by the very same bowl. I was sitting at the back seat Makimba was driving. The vehicle drove to the address for Storas and the vehicle parked by the corner as Makimba was driving while we were driving to the place. Marco received the call and I heard Marco answering the phone and said, we are on the way, coming. Sisen, in brackets, Sisen Lilin. Nine. After dropping the call, he told us that Kelly is calling and want to know if we are coming. Then we alighted at the corner and we walk on foot to the house. And the firearm was with Mark. And he asked who was going to enter the house. We discussed that. We, we will make us as if we are committing robbery. And the firearm was one, and it, it was at Marco possession. Marco asked who was going to get in, and I tell them, no, me, I'm going to stand outside and watch if there is somebody who comes in and disturb us. I must quickly report. Marco and Makimba got into the house and Marco was the only one who was in possession of the firearm. They 
Number 11, they entered and closed the door and demanded cell phones. According to them, they said they found three people in the house. That was Miwa and the two girls in the dining room. One of those two girls was Kaylee. They said Miwa refused with cell phone and he stood and grabbed each other with Marco. Marco took out the firearm and shot at him. Kelly ran to the bedroom and came back while still while still pushing each other. And the sound of the firearm came out. As a result, Kelly ran back to the bedroom and the shots came two times again. And they came out running and we ran into the car, which was parked at the corner of the street. We drove to the hostel and they said they never took anything, cell phone or money. Early in the morning, I received a call from Marco and said he was going to go and collect the money from Kill. At about 9 o'clock, I received the money from Marco who told me that we have rewarded for our job. He gave me 80000 for my share. We agreed three of us to go to give Mkulu 5000 for his assistance in this job. Mkulu helped us to rinse ourselves with other medicine to remove the bad luck. We came back to the room where they dropped me and they left. Nobody came to us or police. The story was quiet. I read that somebody is arrested in this case and I know that it was the wrong person and it took short time and both of them and both of them were arrested for the crimes. The firearm that for other crimes. Paragraph 14. For other crimes. Thank you, my lord. <coughs> The firearm that was uh, used, sold to Mtobi's store from Umsinga in KZN. That is the firearm that was used to kill Senzo, which was owned by Marco Butelis. Makindi Butelis was arrested at KZN and Marco was killed by the police at Daviton during the arrest. They were arrested after two months. And then, after all the statements have been submitted and written down, my lord, uh, I read back to the accused and make some rectification where it's supposed to. And yes, then so we'll, we'll, get, we'll get to that, just give the interpreter okay. chance. Nasi, the statement you get. That meant the case on a city, go 2014 Parat Benyanga, Ga September, no October, Beguga de Gu Saba, Gui Sabata, Um Cabello, Um Ganwami, Umako Butelezi, no Makimbi Butelezi, Bayebeza Engini, Bona Batela Utringo, Batubula Umuf Galelo Vigi, Gulonyaga, Pagatwe Vigi. Bekate kungo le statu, umabeza e osteli, enda weniyami e pumulong, e basutu ni section. Gienga tola uto ingogu suga kubanga nbami, umako butelezi, no makimbi butelezi, boba bini bebagate besala e pumulong. Bebasala e fosloras. Hostel, a Zulu section. No muntu obegate engshaila uti ngogwa kate gu umako koto angiengezwa emuva uguti umakimbi ubegate ekona. 
ngengabatela ukuthi ngikhona bona bathi bayeza weza nomakhimbi ngemva kwemizuzwana baye bafika ngepholo emhlophe ebekade ishayelwa umakhimbi kodwa umnikazi wa Leopoldo kwakade kumakho bobabini bona baye bebakade besuka kwanongoma enatali ngenga ngena emotweni ngahlala emuva umakho wangazisa ukuthi kunomsebenzi okwamele suwenze ngababuza ukuthi omuphi umsebenzi obakade bekhuluma ngawo bathi baqashwe ukheli ukuthi kubulawe usenzo ngabuza ukuthi omuphi ukheli obakhuluma ngaye nomuphi usenzo kula ukuthi abasolwa bona baye bathi ukheli khumalo nosenzo meyiwa ilabo ebekade bekhuluma ngabo ngabuza ke ukuthi bese seba bashilo ukuthi kwamele bazokhokhelwa malini bathi yebo bona bese seba khulume ukuthi bazo bazokhokhelwa imali elingana no 100000 imali ebekade izonikwa u makho nomakhimbi ukuthi kubulawe umakho yena wayekade ku umuntu obekade ena madred locks umakhimbi yena wayekade efake ikepisi zidred ikepisi elibomvu ngombala mina ngangade ngifake ikepisi elimhlophe sasikade sifake la umakepisi ngomgqibelo Omunye lo begate ena matred logs ya na waegate efage imbasa eye wul ee guti umsolwa o begate and that's in order in order to mix all he was explaining in order to not mix the days o begate o begate eng jela o guti nginga sanga nisi ama langa Saku bega ke sasha ela imoto kuyiwa kumkhulu obekade simbiza kanjalo yena ubekade esuka eSwaziland lomkhulu ubekade kuyinyanga ebekade sino kuya kuye uma siyo ngaphambi kokuthi siyoyenza amacala bekade ephuma eSwaziland lenyanga lena yayikade ihlala ekahle Hong e Palm Ridge sange nake kuye umakho yena ke wachaza wachazisela inyanga umkhulu njengoba sasikade simbiza ukuthi asihlole ukuthi siyokwazi ukuthi siqhubeke na noma si siyenze lo msebenzi wenzeke uma siya kulo msebenzi uphinde futhi yena wachaza ukuthi wachazisela umkhulu ukuthi siyobula sasikade siyobulaya siyobulala usenzo meyiwa ekuthi sasikade siqashwe ukheli khumalo obekade eyintombi yakhe usenzo meyiwa umakho waqhubeka futhi wachaza nokuthi ukheli khumalo wayekade efuna imali kusenzo kodwa akazanye achazisele umkhulu okunye ukusuka lapho umkhulu inyanga leyana iye yahlola ke ukuthi sizokwazi ukuthi siqhubeke ngalo msebenzi lona yena ke uye washo ukuthi yebo sizokwazi ukuthi siqhubeke ngalo msebenzi futhi uzosinika ikhambi ebelikade lizosivikela ekwenzeni lo msebenzi ekwade kubekwamele sigcobisele lo khambi ezandleni nasekhalweni futhi ke uye washo ukuthi sizokwazi ukuthi siwenze lo msebenzi woke yobulala lo msebenzi uzoyenzeka futhi sizovikeleka yena ke umkhulu siye samnika imali ebekade ilingana no 50 rand njengoba ebekade sikasihlolile ithema eqeda siye sathatha isinqumo sokuthi ngemva kokuthi siqede sizomnika imali elingana no 5000 rand siye sahamba ke saphuma lapho endaweni yakhe saphuma ke kuleyo ndawo yakhe labe kahlala khona ngahlala ke mina endaweni labe ngihlala khona ngomgqibelo kufikela ngomgqibelo isabatha 
la genga chola uti ngoku mako e wangela uguti bego melege manje sizlumi selele uguya la kulenda o ebeskate sikulumenga o abaza ni bangela iskati kuto bona ba eba figa ndamba ama uma ihora we listupa la genga tatu angale o moto ebenga tengi kazile genga sala emuva uma kimbi bega tebu uye obe shaila imoto imoto ye ya hamba ke ya ya efosloras leo moto leo ifige ya paga ekone ni umakimbi wakate ebuye o shaelayo itema sa shaela kwa nalapo umako uye watola utringo nga muzwa umako ependula ati apendula utringo ati si si sendi leni Ngemba kwa lapo umako uye was chela uguti ukeli Uye na lobega te esha ya uti ngongi mchele uguti sisendele ni siyeza Ngemba kwa lapo sashiga ge emo tweni Sahamba nge inyawo uguya guleyo nzuleyo Ispamu ebe skate sikona saskate sipetwe umako Iye na uye wabuza uguti ubani ozo nge na enjini Siye sa kuluma ke uguti Siye sa kuluma ke uguti siye sizo yenza ingati sibamba inkunzi Ispamu saskate sisotwa saskate sipetwe umako Umako yeye na wabuza uguti Ubani ozo nge na pagati enjini Mina ngienga asho ugu tingizo manga pande ngi pege ugu tabna mundu ozayo ozo stika zisa Njengwa basienza no msibe nzi ngogushesha Umako no makimbi Bona bae bangena endlini umako Uyena obegate epete isipamu Bae bangena endlini Bava la umnyango bafika bafuna ama cell phone Uguya nga abo Baye bati Batole abanda batatu enjini Kwa kate guu meiwa Na bantu besfazani ababini Bebasheli eta ini mrumu Omunye wabo Kwa kate guu keli Wanabati umeiwa Umeiwa walile Nge cell phone Yena uye wa suguma Wa bambana no mako Umako uye wa kipa ispamu Wa mtubula Ukeli wa kichimela e bedroom Wa buya While they were still Wa buya Beba libele besa sundu sana Basa sundu zana kwa nalapo Besege ispa musa tubula ogwe sbini Ukeli waiki jimela futi e bedroom La iguti ispa musa tubula futi Kula bona baeba puma beki jima Waiki jimela saiki jimela emoto eni lebegate ipage e koneni Imoto ya hambage ya ya e hosteli Bati Sima kwa Abaza nye batate luto Abaza nye batate luto Abaza nye batate ama cell phone Na batatanga ne mali Egu seni ge ngeenga tola uti ngo Elu suga gumako Ebe gate Enga zisa uti bezo za bazo Bayo landa imali gukeli Kona lapo ekseni ngabo naini ngeenga tola imali Ebe gate suga gumako Engi chele uguti si kokeliwe nje ngoba sienze umsebe nzi Bang nigile imali eli ngana no 30,000 rand Ebe gate imali e bang nigayona inga nyeyami Siesa vumela na ugu ugu tatubetu uguti umkulu sizo mniga e 5,000 rand U sizo mniga i 5,000 rand nje ngoba esi zile gulo msibenzi Umkulu usisi zile ugutisi keze Nge minye imiti ugususa 
lobu mnyama obukate busembete. Siye sabu yela emuva e rumini laba e bangshia kona. Agu zanyo kube na mundu obukate ea zise ama poisa lenda balena njengwa basiye sabu mela nungu tsitule. I need to choose. I need to choose. Oh, I hate. Ngiye ngezwa ukuthi kunomuntu obekade eboshiwe kuleli qala bengade ngazi ukuthi ababophanga umuntu okuyena oyenze leli qala ngemva i took time kuthathe is kuthathe isikhathi esifishane ukuthi boba boba bini baboshwe kwamanye amacala isibamu isibamu lesi besikade sisetshenziswe esaka mthobisi sithole obekade obekade phuma emsinga ekzn ileso sibamu esisetshenziswe ukudubula usenzo meyiwa esiye besikade si kuyisibamu saka makho buthelezi Umakimbi butelezi uye waboshwa e kwa Zulu Natal umako yena uye wabulawa ama poisa e Daviton. Nge mbago ngales katibeza bambopa. Baboshwe nge mba we nyanga e zimbini. Thank you my lord. I have tried reading the difficult handwriting. Yeah. And nizwile bafetu into nebe mzama uifunda nge mba ipane ganjani. As the court pleases and the accused also nods their heads to say they understood as I was reading the statement. Mm. Yes, Mr. Kalu. Thank you. Um, Colonel, just explain the um, signatures there at the bottom. As the court pleases, my lord, <clears throat> the signature is for the accused and his right thumbprint. For each and every page. I get Ukaza get Ugusaina Lapo Uti Ugusaina or Bam Sola, Futi Ne Stupa Esai Kesesanda Sesna Sebuta. Next to that signature is my signature, man. There's a Pamwaleo signature, Naming Yenga Sai. Yes, and just read the, the last portion there. Paragraph. Uh, oh, um. On the last page of the annexion. I think the last page of the annexion, my lord. Yes, the last paragraph. That I never read. Uh, observation. No, 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 the one that says the above statement. Oh, that one is written on the annexion. The above statement was obtained by me from the suspect at the proof SAPS at 12 o'clock. The sister man is on a story from Solwa, it is placing the suspect at the proof for 12 a minute. Not a minute, it was written as a minute, but it's 12 midnight, my lord. What is the problem with 12? Oh, we want to go to 12 for a minute, go to a statement, it's in the room of 12, it's a minute. If you look page one, come again, my lord. If you, if you look at page one of exhibit FF, the time at which you commenced, just place it on record. The, the time that you commenced taking down. As the court please, my lord. The, the I explain documenting the proceedings. Yes, I explain it in this court. It was uh, quarter to ten. If I can then ask you to turn to paragraph 14 of the preamble. As the court pleases, my lord. Paragraph 14 on completing the statement. It is right to the dependent 
he is also given the opportunity of reading the statement himself and of changing the statement. He seems it necessary. Note down whether he also read through the statement. The suspect never read the statement himself, but only rectified about rectified the officer about the day when the cabs were were worked by them on paragraph three. Uh, my Lord, he rectified the days of the cab. Remember, they were met in two days. So he rectified that that is when they were wearing those caps. Paragraph 14.2. Yeah, yeah, just before the paragraph three of, when you refer to paragraph. Paragraph three. Paragraph, paragraph three of the annexation. Mm -hmm. Yes. Of the annexation. Yes, 14.2. Has the statement been read back to the dependent by interpreter? It was read back by the officer, which is myself, my lord. Paragraph 15. The following questions are now put to the dependent. 15.1. Are you satisfied that which you stated has been noted down correctly? Yes, I am satisfied. Yes, answer from the accused. Paragraph 15.2, do you have any complaint as to the manner in which I took down the statement? The answer, no, I don't have any complaint. 15.3, are you satisfied with interpreter? Answer, I'm satisfied the way the officer translate to me. Place the group station date 2020 or 580. Time is zero 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 zero, my lord, and then the signature. Manjege, uma ekubega gutiwa ayo uspindele jengo ba waogate unom solo uguti niena kuluma ganja ni uguya ngala ma pepa. Ula ma pepa ge uya shiwa uguti statement siya safunde lo um solo na gutiwa um solo. Agaza as is Anga Sifunde, Agazanga Afunde, Lelis Statmenti, go to Agazanga as a funde, ye and Angoguake, go to a Uye Wadela, Ipoisa, Ugutilona, Alienze, Ingo, Gogo, as Tizel, a paragraph three, U Ipoisa, Umalikaza, Litting, Gugo, Gula, Begate, Ekumanga, Makepis, Ganeskati, Ezebe, E. Kaza, Indabaya, Makepis, Ngoba, Ukumanga, Makepis, Namalanga, Amabini, Alande, Lelana. Statement in the CCS of the Lona Um Solo, which is a statement in the Sifundue Ilona Ipoisa. Mbuzo Olanda Layo, when a winner selegilena, Dallas statement in Jemova Sipalwe, Ganjalo Uti, in Pendulo Ebuya Um Solo, Ite Yebo, and Gene Selegil. Manje Unaso is Kalazum Tom Bengalendela Eguti statement Sipalwenga, so in Pendulo Ebuya Um Solo, Ite Ka. Angina so is Kalazo. Manjo Omonio Olandalayo Umbuzo Ute Weneseligile Futi Nango Toligi Bese Impendulo Eze Esuga Gumsolo Yona Ye Yati Mina Yeneseligile Ngalen Dela Ipoisa Lingi Kazele is that mending a corner Futi Sal Saskate Sipalo Eti Kluf Gate twenty gate eighty is the May for twenty twenty and go twelve Ebusu. Just for record purposes, um, whose statement have you just read out? Who's the, who was the deponent? As the court please, the deponent is Mzika Ukulelo, Chambers Hill. The second one is the statement of Sanda Ugosifunda Manje. The statement is the statement of Mzika Stemba Sibia. And you confirm the correctness of both the preamble and, and the annexure? That's correct, my lord. I confirm.
uyavuma ukuthi statement nalama phepha lamanye lawa kade ethaypiwe kuyiqiniso ukuthi yebo ngiyavuma ngosenkantolo so God, please, my Lord, we request that the annexure, the statement itself, be handed up as exhibit FF in bracket one. And yes. Thank you. That is all, my Lord. Yes, Mr. Mugumi. What is this? So, uh, is that your evidence that the author of this statement was Mozi Kaukulelwa Tembas Bia? Yes, my lord. Bufaras Bako Utumundo Padena's statement, Mozi Kaukulelwa Tembas Bia Utiyevo Ipomiso. For record purpose and to. <clears throat> what makes you to say that he's the author of this statement? Because he was with me telling me this statement. So this statement was signed in front of you, in your presence, by Muzi Sibia. Yes, that's correct, my lord. The statement is signed by Muzi Sibia. All right, I just want to clarify certain aspects on this. You are not the author of the statement, but you took the statement from Moses Bia. Is that so? That's correct, my lord. Utimena, Ibuni, so Angiena, Umba, and one is a statement, this is Hatabu Moses Bia. This statement, according to paragraph one, it relates to an incident that happened on Saturday. Do you agree? In terms of the statement, do you want to go to paragraph one? Yes, please. <clears throat> yes, yes, my lord. It was I was told like that. Ugu ya ngale si statement. Sienza gele. Sikuluma ngendo enza gele. Gomkwe. Uchi yebo ukonesu. Correct. This statement talks about three people. It talks about <coughs> Mozi, Makimbi, and Marco. Correct? In, par in first paragraph, there are three, my lord. Is that correct? That's correct. The statement is Kulmanga Bandabatatus. Kulmanga Mozi, Marco, no Makimbi. This statement further confirms that Marco is the one who shot sense. Do you agree? As it is written, my Lord, yes. The statement is here show put in no go to Umako, ye na otum de usenzo, ya vuma, put in Jemobas Paraganja. And this statement further confirms that people that were inside the house were three two ladies and Senzo. Senzo Mehiwa. Do you agree? That is what I'm told. The statement of the footage shows that the Abantu be got to be part and him be got to be part. What got the Buna ba Abantu be spazane ababini no Senzo. Uti jengo ba ndanga tenche. You were further told, as you say, the statement that accused. Okay, Moses Bia. Let me just put it. Moses Bia was not inside the house when Senzo was shot. Is that correct? That is written down. I was told. It's correct. And this statement further says that this is a plan <coughs> pretended to be a robbery. Is that correct? That's correct. Forty less statement, the Siakubega's Pinda City, Logo, Wakate, Wusheli, Wingati, Wakate, Wiobanjo, Inkunzi, Peniso, Utie. And this statement further said the firearm that was used to kill Senzo was sold to another person who was on a Is that so? That's correct, my lord. 
uti futi ispa le statement siya futi uti ispa mo esetenzi swa ukulala usenzo siya sa tengi selwa muntu tizeni wasena tano kujalo uti yewe ikoniso and it further mentioned the amount that was shed and the amount that was paid to Inyama. The 50 rand plus the 5,000 rand. <coughs> Is that so? That's correct. What if it is a pin that is a statement is cars and the money a good year for the news what the money for the air for the one of Inyama the 50 rand and the 5,000 would be able to do so. Plus, sorry my lord, plus plus another 30,000. Forty se kubela se bala neo forty umsolo uye waniwa eight thousand. And this statement further talks about Kelly Kumalo having contracted with these people mentioned in the statement to kill Senzo Kuma, a uh, sense of Mayo. Correct? That's correct. But the forty the statement is ya pinda siya show over to Kelly Kumalo. All right, let's just pause it there. When you were taking this statement, at the time when uh, <clears throat> Moses Bia was brought to you, during the course of taking the statement, were there any clarification questions that to ask them in relation to what he was saying, according to you. Yes, there are clarification questions. Gales Kati Utata Les Statement, the corner is Katina Lai Uti, we have Wabane Mibuzo, Ebega de Wibuza, Umuzi, Ugutatisa, Ugutiza, Utiebo, we call him Mibuzo Yokatis. I just want you to take the court to that room where you were with Tembas Bia. Uh, when he was making the, uh, the second uh, statement. Okay, those questions, can you give an example of the question that maybe you clarify for you to write after satisfaction? Like the question that I remember, I won't remember all of them because- I'm Yes, just one question, if any- But that one is. that I remember, yes. I asked him, how did he explain things that happened inside the house while he was outside. That's when starting to tell me, according to them, according to them. I remember that one. I asked him. I get what you said, and found the umbuza award, or we were umbuza one, or what he was the old tattoos in general about what he was the tattoos. What in young umbuza, or what he was in Jan, is in the essence again a parrot in Lini. Jemoba um jena, Uti Gula, um solo yena, uye wati, ubu yangabo, ubu yangabo, yingapo, uti nesega pana, ipoisa uti, um solo, ubu yangabo, bebam jena biayiti. I applaud you, Colonel, for that question, or for that clarification. And you know that it amounts to hearsay. Am I right? That's correct. Uti nge ushaela isa andangalo ko, Colonel, get God, we are so good. No father's fathers of Bam Gelagar, lying is no more. He's late. He's dead. He cannot come and give evidence. Do you agree? That's correct, man. Umako, Agasapili. Sorry, do you know the whereabouts of Makimbi? Do you know? Yes, you do you know. If you don't know, you are not forced to answer. I don't know. Thank you. So when you say, lastly, when you were referred to paragraph 14 of the annexed, maybe one or two questions before I, I rest. Uh, <clears throat> you were asked about the, the, the condition that accused number one was, was at the time he was making the statement. I don't understand the question, my lord. You were asked about the condition of accused number, sorry, of chambers here 
when I was making that statement in reference to paragraph 14 of <clears throat> paragraph 14 of the performer. Paragraph 14. What I was asked my Lord how to get you. We were asked about the condition of accused of, of Temba Sibia in relation when you were taking to when you were taking this statement as to how was he his demeanor remembered. I'm Can lost. I'm, I'm lost about paragraph All right. 14. Will you be able to read uh, paragraph 14 there? Thank Which you, state that's read? Ask me. You're quoting the wrong paragraph, sir. Is it 13? No. You see what when it talks about the demeanor. No, my apology. If it's so where it says observation of the justice yes. of the peace with regard to the deponent, clothing, appearance, oh. attitude. That's why. I you beg your pardon. I beg you. I'm referring to the paragraph. Sorry. Oh, thank you. Yes. It's not paragraph uh, 14. No, no. It's not even marked. What yes. paragraph? It's just a close conclusion. Observation of justice or peace with regard to the deponent. I'm asking that. Yes. You were asked about that. Yes, I was. Yes. Will you comment about his state of mind? <laughs> yes, as clothing. Mind is attitude. He was very positive and he relaxed, freely, talking. Manje, unagwazo kutaza uguti imondo umsolo waegate enjani uti yebo. Umsolo ubona gede njengo muntu waegate ezumisele, futi waegate ekulule gede, ekuluma. Alright. Sorry. But were you told that... Timbers Beer was arrested on the same day. Were you, were you informed before you took a statement that he was arrested on the same day? No, I was not informed. Only him who took me when he was arrested when I go through the performer. My final question is, if you look at page one on the bottom of that statement, uh, there's a, a thumbprint and the signature of the accused. Do you agree? That's correct. First page of. That's correct. Page one. Was it necessary to <clears throat> to let the deponent to sign the annexure, the last page? Was it necessary for him to sign the last page and to attach his thumbprint? Was it necessary? Uh, the last page, my lord. Last page of the statement of the annexure, of the annexure. where you. Yes, it was necessary. Why do you say that? Why do you say that it was necessary? Because it's his statement. Thank you. No, no further question. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. Ramsipi, uh, if it may please the court, my lord, my lord, I don't have any questions for the witness. Thank you. Mr. Lisi? I don't have any questions. Thank you. Mr. Mano? My lord, I have no questions. Thank you. Ms. Mishorono? No questions, my lord. Any re examination? Just perhaps one aspect, my lord. Uh, Mr. Mgomenzulu asked you about the contents of uh, the statement. For instance, you were asked, or it was put to you that Marco is dead and you can't give evidence. Do you know anything about what was said in the statement? I don't understand which statement. Yes. Which statement? Uh, Mr. Mgomizulu asked you questions about the contents of the statement. For instance, he put it to you that Marquay is dead and can't give evidence, and you said you agree. 
The question is, do you know anything about the contents of the statement? That's where I'm getting lost again. Yes. Which statement? Yes. This the, one annex, the annex. Or Marco's statement? No, the annex. Alright, what about it? Were you just writing what I the, guess one was telling you? Telling do you know me. anything about its contents? Let, let's put it to you this way. Um, <laughs> Mr. Mgomezulu put it to you that Marco is dead and cannot give evidence. Um, and you said you agree. The question is, do you know anything about the contents? What is said in the statement? What is contained in the statement? Who is that? Yes. Which statement? This one? Yes. The, the I know the contents of the statement. I'm the one who wrote it. But do you know the truthfulness thereof? Or were you just writing no, while it is of No, no, no. I can't know. I can't know it. Thank you. Whether I am, I am, I am told the truth, I am yes. told the lies. Okay. I can't know. Thank you. That, that is all. Finally, you will not be able to do the same thing as you can 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 do the same Yeah, just a few elucidatory questions, because the state has to prove that uh, it was indeed, the statement was indeed made by accused number one, meaning the contents thereof, you heard them from him, are you saying that? That's correct, my lord, I heard it from the accused. What about his address? Did you know where he was staying before you met, you met him on that particular day? No, my lord. I just hear from him whatever it is. And I didn't know about the code, my lord. You didn't even know the code? No, I got it from the accused. Okay. And the amounts? Payable or paid? The money, I got it from the accused. The and amount. All these different names? I got it from the accused, my lord. Madimba, Marco. Do you know, know them personally? No, my lord. I only saw the accused for the first time. And then he gave me those names. Well, that there was in our own solo Utalapi, Utica, Gangingazi, Ikeda Kengilaze, Gichelwa Wuye. Well, that there was the Lamaka Malao, the Gate E Kurmangao, or Makimba, Nabanya Utica, Bangatenga Bazi. Gizuenga, in Gandolium was a footing over to Umkulu, was a Ganjan Umkulu, Utting as a swell wee, Nemali, a gooty, Bagate, Guyo, Cochelua, and as a swell wee, Umsola, Uguti, Imalini, a Bagate, Cochelua, Umkulu. Okay. Thanks, sir. Thank you, madam. You said I got you there. As a court case, my Lord, may we then adjourn to Monday. These are the only two witnesses that we have so. learned up for today. Okay. Monday will be the 18th of March. Okay, let's adjourn until Monday. Okay.